I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bring in positive energy here in this space. Thank you, angels, white light, spirit guides. Thank you for your presence in this reading today. Thank you for this space. Thank you for this peace. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for Pam's openness. We ask you for guidance and clear and concise messages, truth, guidance, wisdom in this space. All right, we're gonna get started. I want you to tell me when you want me to stop shuffling. Okay. Just say when. Now. I'm going to tell you what the cards, I'm going to show you them to you in just a little bit. The three, nine cards spread. All right. First card. Nine of Cups. This is an awesome card. This is, this is a wish fulfillment card. Your plans, your goals, I'm feeling, and I'm, I'm getting this message. You're working towards goals that are going to work out. Whatever, whatever plans that you have, whatever your heart's desires are, you're going to be able to manifest those. Your dreams, your, your fulfillment, your, your dreams your wishes, the things that are deep in here, even things that you may not know about yet mm -hmm. are about to go ahead. You're going to be putting movement, movement, and they're going to, they're going to succeed here. But here's the thing too. I'm seeing some self-sabotage. Mm -hmm. This is the Eight of Swords. The spirit is telling you, the universe is telling you that it has your wish fulfillment for you, that you can manifest what you want and it's going to be successful. But I'm seeing, I'm feeling some self-sabotage here. This is the eight of swords. The swords talks about um, in the mind, things going on in the mind. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. She, if you look closely, she is looking at herself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. In the mirror, she sees, you see the, the birds around her, she's distressed, you see she's She's blindfolded and her hands are tied. Mm -hmm. But if you look closely at the bottom of the card, let me push up. At the bottom of the card, she's looking at her own reflection. She is not bound. Right, right. This is how she sees herself. I'm feeling like you may be, you may be feeling tied and bound and restricted to some things in some way. Mm -hmm. I feel that even though the universe has this for you. This was the first card that showed up for you. So this is an awesome card to show up in your, in your reading. But this was the second card. Maybe your own, your own feelings, your own, and, it's, and I'm not saying these because with swords, it's up here. Your own feelings are interfering with here, with this. Okay. I can see that for sure. Okay. 
but there's, there's a lot more. You've got the Hierophant card. This is a card of, and, and I'm not surprised that this card showed up because we were just talking. And I, before I do readings on pe personal readings, I, I'm glad that we had a chance to talk because I like talking, kind of getting the feel of people. And it, it, it's no surprise that this showed up. This is spiritual awakening. Right. This is a, a going to a higher level. Mm -hmm. And it came even after this card. Okay, right. so there is, Here's the conflict here. This is this could be, and this doesn't mean that you're at this place all the time. This right. just means that there are some things in you that, that you need to work through that are bothering you. And maybe you see yourself in a position, you're in a better position than you think you are. Right. I because know. she's not truly bound here. Right. It, it's in her mind. Right. And on the other side of this card is that so if once you let this go on the other side. Waits, this waits for you. This right. is spiritual awakening. This is higher, a higher realm, leveling up. And it's on the other side of your fear and anxiety. Right. This is what you're wishing for. This is what, what's here for you. Right. You're looking for something, something different, something new. Mm -hmm. This is some this is a card that shows me that there is. This is a this is a wands. The three of wands talks about passions. You are looking, you're on a journey for your passion. You're trying to find out what it is that you need to do. You're on the lookout for it. You have people around you that are supporting you. The three of cups is showing, talks about community. It talks about um, people being in your corner, especially women, females. Mm -hmm. A sibling. Is there, a, there could be a sibling in your in your life, maybe that you haven't been in connection with. It could be a brother or a sister or someone who was like a brother or sister or because this card also speaks about siblings, but it could be a female family member or someone who maybe there's been some distance between and maybe you're wanting some sort of reconciliation or maybe they are, okay? But I'm feeling like this is showing also support in this journey, in your journey to here. Mm -hmm. And your journey to spiritual elevation, you have support. You have a you have a good support system. You have females. I I, I feel especially there are female people who are supportive of you in your life, mm -hmm. and who will have your back on this journey. You're stuck on something though. You're hung up on something. Something's holding you back. Here it is. This is the hangman. This right. is being stuck. And I feel that I feel that these two cards are connected. Mm -hmm. There's something holding you back from getting to here. Mm -hmm. And you can do it. Now, it, it could be, and I don't feel like it's physical because I know you were talking about, you know, um, you're going to have surgery done with your hip. I'm not feeling it's physical. I just feel that there is something going on in here, mm -hmm. in inside, mm -hmm. that may be holding you back. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the hangman here. This also talks about being if you're stuck, maybe see things from a different position because she's hung, she's hanging upside down. Mm -hmm. she, okay. When you hang upside down, you're seeing something not from straight, you're seeing it from a different way. So perhaps to get you out of this stuck position, what the universe is asking is that see things from a different perspective. Hmm. You've got news coming at you, really quick news coming in pretty soon. Some news, and it's good news. It's coming in fast. It could be, usually the wands talks about passion. I don't know if you've seen anybody, if you've met anybody, if there's anybody on your radar, but this usually talks about news of a romantic kind. Some sort of passion. Interesting, does it have to be me? Because the news is my daughter, she's in love with this guy now, um, and it's beautiful. It's like she just sent to me a text message and was just like, when, with, with my father, were you ever like this? Or you, were you ever like that? And I was like, no. But what you have is what you're supposed to have because you're supposed to have a person in your corner, not a person that you're fighting with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Absolutely. And this doesn't, this could be, this is hearing good news, period. It doesn't have to be specifically for you, but it could be news, like you say, for your daughter. Your daughter is someone that you love. So you're right. hearing news about something that's romantic and loving that she's feeling right now. So this right. is news. Right. This is news coming in and there'll be more. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's, she'll probably be sharing more with you. 
Here you showed up in your own reading, the King of Pentacles, that's an earth sign. King of Pentacles is represents Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. It's always good when you show up, but this shows a king. This is someone who is um, well-off, well-established, mature, has solid resources, will have solid resources. Okay, right. Is um, very comfortable, very nurturing. This is this is definitely earth sign energy here. So it's always good when the king shows up. So all this means is that you're showing, all this is is extra confirmation that this is your reading. And okay. the, the universe wants you to know that you should. In, in tarot, there's no gender. Okay, there's a queen. This could be, you know, if I were talking about the, the queen of cups, and if you were a man, it would still mean it's just showing personality traits. There's no gender in tarot. Right. So right. even though you showed up as a king, which is great because the king is even higher than the queen, what it's suggesting here is that you can look forward to being having the being in a position of comfort and financial security, um, having resources, having having a solid roof, <clears throat> excuse me, a solid roof over your head. Uh, it talks about the physical things. It talks about having enough of everything, not lacking anything. Right. This is what the king of the king is showing up as. More pinnacles, which is good. This is more earth. Um, you're waiting for something. And the universe is asking you to be patient. You've planted some seeds, you've got some things coming that are growing, some seeds in the ground that you've planted. Um some ideas that you have in your head and you're want, waiting for them to grow. You want to wait for them to manifest. Mm -hmm. You have to put in, it takes work. You have to put in the action to get to, to see the results of it. So this, this, it's coming, it's growing, but you got to do the work, got to plant the seed. And you have to water them, you have to tend to it. This card is about being attentive. And it's about paying attention. It's not enough to just want to do something, but it's, it's reminding you to actually take care of it and nurture. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get some clarification on this. This was the foundation. Oh, this is what else I want to do too. I want to go ahead and pull this Oracle card before I start clarifying. Tell me when you want me to stop uh, shuffling. Okay. Okay, stop. Soul's truth. I listen to my soul's simple truth and allow my life to unfold naturally. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the message for you. Now, basically, this is this is what your channel is about. This is what you have, your, 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 your mission, right. trusting the process. And basically, isn't this what she's saying, what, what is being said here, your soul's truth is to listen to your soul's simple truth and allow your life to unfold naturally. Right. That's for you. Okay. Now we're going to clarify. That just means I'm going to get, we're going to get some more information based on this. This is your, this is your basic foundation here. And I'm going to get more clarification. Give us some more clarification. Let's get some clarification about that Eight of Swords. What do you want us to know about that Eight of Swords? Do you want me to tell you to stop or you got it? Uh huh. No, go ahead. You tell me to stop. No, I was going to say stop. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. You got the Two of Pentacles. And I clarify with a different deck most times, okay? Two of Pentacles, balance. I was asking Spirit for clarification for this Eight of Wands. What you need is more balance. Um, even, even maybe maybe you're feeling out of balance. Maybe that's what's causing you kind of, I kind of get scattered. I'm feeling scattered energy. I'm kind of feeling like you may be being pulled in different, different directions. And the universe is saying balance. Balance it out. You need to balance. And even maybe with finances too, because the pentacles, once again, this is pentacles and it's talking, pentacles talks about resources. Maybe this anxiety over resources. Yes. This is, this is the first card that came. 
And I asked for clarification and here's what came up. So it's about the anxiety. What it's saying is the anxiety could be possibly about resources. Maybe you're feeling there's not enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're feeling um, you need more or maybe not sure of the resources that you have now that will last. And this is what's causing it. But don't forget that with this card, it's in her head. It's not reality. She's better off than she thinks. She's not as bound and as restricted as she's thinking. Right. But you can still use some balance here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's what the universe is saying. So keep that in mind. What else? I'm going to clarify. Tell me when you want me to stop. I'm gonna do that nine of cups. Stop. All right, so I asked for clarification about the nine of cups. We get the queen of cups. Basically, this is, this is just you here, showing up here again, queen of cups. Someone who is sensitive. Here's what I'm getting though. Do you, you this is maybe someone that you know. I'm getting this someone that you know who is sensitive empathetic wears a heart on her sleeves could be a him i feel that this is someone that may be of assistance to you the the you may know someone in your life that has this quality that is maybe has resources a queen has resources she's been through some th some stuff this is someone who is kind very sensitive, very helpful. Mm -hmm. If you don't mm -hmm. know anyone like that, then this is someone that may be moving into your life that can assist you. Okay. So that's going to be instrumental. It could be someone that you may be collaborating with in the future. Mm -hmm. It could be someone that may be giving you some sort of... Um, some sort of advice, someone who's mature, someone who is sympathetic and has a very sympathetic ear. This is someone who, who's going to who could play some, some, some important role in you moving into this space here. So I, it's, it could be male or female. It could be someone who is, um, the cups are water signs. So it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I don't know if that means anything to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop. Okay, I want to clarify. I want to clarify this thing, man. Okay, Seven of Swords. I'm feeling like maybe in the recent past, someone you may feel that somebody has not been fair with you. Maybe you feel that there was someone, maybe you didn't, maybe somebody, you feel cheated out of something maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone took something from you. Maybe someone took something from you. Maybe somebody lied to you. This Seven of Swords is a card of deceit, deception. Mm -hmm. This is a card, and this came out with Hangman card. This could, this could possibly mean that Someone, someone cheated you, someone, or you feel like someone cheated you, or maybe, maybe you're hung up on this, on this situation. Is there something that's been bothering you in the, in the recent future? Something that shows something where you're concentrating on, or you're kind of stuck on this, or maybe something from the past. That's what just came to me. Maybe somebody did something to you in the past and you're still stuck on this. Maybe somebody hurt you. Somebody stole something from you or somebody, you feel like somebody took something from you and you're still stuck on that. Hmm. I'm going to get some more information on that. Universe is saying, let it go. Let that go. Let it go. Let's see. I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull. Okay. I'm 
I see an offer. I see an offer of uh, love somewhere. I see a romantic offer of love, someone coming in. I don't know if you've met anybody, but if you haven't, you may be meeting someone. I see an offer. Ooh, and the hangman is showing up again. You're gonna be, <laughs> all right, let me tell you what this is. This is the same card, same card, different decks. When something shows up twice like that and it came from the hangman, you may be meeting someone. This could be somebody a little bit younger than you. Someone's going to take this show. This shows romantic interest, some romance, somebody that's interested in you, somebody that's checking you out, and somebody I that's trying. That I ain't trying to hear it. Well, I, I, I see that because the hang. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. You've got two situations. You've got one that's showing something about theft, some sort of deception, something, something that happened, or something, somebody that lied to you, cheated, or whatever. But then you've got another situation about a, 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 a potential person. Now, this person, this is the Knight of Cups, and he's the Romeo in the tarot. He's the player. This is somebody who is, um, he's, he could be, he can be sincere, but he, he's, he's very romantic and, you know, but you're not interested. You don't have a, you're stuck, you, you, you're hung up. You're not, you're not, you're not receiving him with open arms. So this is someone either you're going to meet or you may know, maybe somebody who's been checking you out. It may be somebody that you work with, somebody in your social circle, it just depends. But somebody out there is checking you out. They just, they may not have said anything yet, but it looks like they, he's getting up the courage to come forward. And you're like, I, I, no, I, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else have you got for us? I want to see about that. Okay, this is this is good. Remember, I told you about looking out for your passion. You're on your. You're looking for your whatever it is that you need to do. Right. That star card. The star card talks about. This is one of the best cards. One of my favorite cards in the deck. The star card talks about um, optimism. It talks about better days ahead. It talks about overcoming bad times. It talks about triumph. It talks about coming out on the other side, um, on the other side. And remember I talked to you earlier about coming out on the other side. Look at all the, look at what's waiting on the other side right. of this. Sometimes we get in our own way. She's in her own way there. Mm -hmm. But we, this talks about, this also, the star also talks about wishes coming true here. And this is once again, heart fulfillment. This is your emotional fulfillment here. This is wishes coming true as well, okay? So there's a message here. There, there's a message here. You're on your right. You, you are, it's good that you're trusting your process because you're, pro, you're on the right journey. I think though what I'm feeling, I'm just feeling like, because this is right in the middle, I think that you may be, you may you may not you may not realize how well off you are or, or what what a good place you're in, and you may stay too much in your head or overthink things because that's what she's doing. She's overthinking things, and like I said, our mind gets in our own way. I got the five of cups. I get the sense of regret, maybe some sort of regretting something, disappointment. Because you see here in this deck, she's seeing three cups laid over, but she's not paying attention to the two cups that are standing in the back. You know, it's interesting. My daughter pulled this card, um, similar, the same message that um, I'm looking at the, um, the items that are on the ground, but I'm not looking at the items that are standing up right there in front of me. By the cups. And right. it talks about she's seeing, so she feels so regretful. And it, so she pulled this cup for you too. This is this is a this is a card that reminds us to pay attention not to what we've lost, but what we still have. Mm -hmm. Not to be focused only on what we don't have anymore, but don't forget about the things that we still do have. Right. I'm using a totally different deck now. Just spirit just told me to move on. Different deck. Okay. 
what else? Can you tell the story? Wow. Okay. More pinnacles. Is this king again? King showed up again. Mm -hmm. You're showing up in your own reading, which is a good thing. Tell there is potential here. This is this is where the universe wants you to know that you can be. You, you can get there. This is this is at the top of the game here. Mm -hmm. This is having all of your needs met, all of your 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 basic needs, more having more than enough, having more than enough resources. Mm -hmm. comfortable this is what this is about feeling confident and comfortable in your environment within your within your with your money and other resources around you tangible resources is what the pinnacles talks about here you got another pinnacle you got the seven this is the seven of pinnacles she has reaped she comes after here. This is again seven. You got two. Seven of Pentacles is showing up twice. This is reaping what you sowed. You see here, two different decks, but they look different, but the meanings are the same. This is once again a reminder to you that you you when you continue to plant, you continue to 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 plant the seeds and nurture them. Mm -hmm. She's here in this in this one. She's nurturing. You see the trees. See the money growing on the trees. Mm -hmm. Can you see the image? Yeah, and she's standing there. There's still work to be done, though. She's not yet. She can't rest on her laurels yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's when you get to this point. When you get to the, this status, gotcha. This comes first before this. So the universe is reminding you: continue to work on your passions. Continue to continue to follow them. Continue to plant your seeds. Nurture them. Seek them, whatever it is that's your passions, whatever it is that's making you feel good. There's hope, the star. You can do this. There are better days coming. Don't, don't look back. Don't look on what you don't have. Focus on the things that you do. Right. And that means choices. That means um, any decisions moving forward. Focus on the positive, not on what you, not on what you don't have. And don't forget that you have support. You have people in your life that are supporting you and rooting for you, but you need balance and to get out of your own way. You've got, you continue, it's, this is a sign, this is a nod from the universe that your, 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 your enlightenment, your spiritual enlightenment is, is a positive thing and to keep moving forward. There's only, you see, see the staircase that's leading up? There's only high, there's only one way to go and that's up. Mm -hmm. Let's pull a couple more. And then I want to I want to pull something else. And then, I, then I'm going to give you an opportunity if you want to go ahead and ask something specific and I'll go ahead and uh, we'll do that. Let me find out. Oh, yeah. All right. We got the magician here. The magician talks about manifesting your own destiny. Mm -hmm. The magician, what do magicians do? They make, they create stuff. They make magic. Mm -hmm. Everything, the spirit is reminding you, Pam, that you have everything in you to make your own destiny. And didn't you say that? Isn't that what we were talking about earlier? Well, right. this is confirmation. Mm -hmm. You got the five of pentacles. You got a lot of pentacles in your in your reading today, and I'm not surprised. It shows up usually whatever because the, the cards it's it's all energy. We talked about your your astrological sign being a Virgo. No, there's no wonder that it shows up so much here. More pentacles. The five of pentacles, however, is talking about a lack or feeling a lack. Mm -hmm. Feeling here once again going back to this card. Feeling lack. Feeling like you have um, not enough, feeling left out in the cold. But if you notice the lights behind her in this card, it's like this card for this illustration, this particular deck. She's in front of a church. Mm -hmm. They're in front of a church. That this help. You see the pentacles. These are the five of pentacles. It's like church windows. It's like stained glass windows, mm -hmm. showing that there is light. There is help beyond what you see. You're not stuck. 
There's not lack. Even if you're feeling it, there's not lack. There is help. But it's be it's it's there. You just have to see it though. Right. And you have to you have to seek it if you need the help. Final card, the first card of the tarot, which is the fool. It's a major arcana card, and it's a fool. The fool means new beginnings. It's a zero up here at the top. That's uh -huh. that means completion. This is the beginning of a new cycle for you, fam. This means new beginnings, new opportunities. It means do not be afraid to take chances. On something new. This is the this is the light, this is the message, the final message here from your spread that the universe wants you. Take your chances. Do the things that you want to do. Don't be afraid to take new opportunities. Don't be afraid to take risks. Whatever opportunity, whatever things you're thinking in here, make them into a reality. Mm -hmm. Opportunity. What I want to do now is, if you want, are you interested in a love message, a love reading? Is that is that important to you at this time or no? It's up to you. Well, Pam, or we can, since I'm hanging upside down with that other one over there. <laughs> yeah, you upside down. There's somebody I don't you know. I don't know. Only you know. There's somebody that's interested in you. Well, You're like, yeah. Oh, nah. Listen, yeah. I always joke. I have a friend, um, he's about best friend. We like this. Man, yeah. no love interest. He yeah. always asks, he goes, you know what? Are you ready? Are you going, you know, something? he said, I said, listen, that is not an area that I'm ever questioning. When I click that light on, like, yes. okay, I'm looking. Yes. For whatever reason, people flock. Wow. I don't See? want that light on yet. Because I feel like I'm not ready for that yet. That to me is going to be like when I'm ready for that, click. So I know. And, yes. You know. And you know why you say when you click it because it's intention. It's all about intention. When right. you click that light on your intention, you have set an intention to seek love and to bring that kind of love into your life. If you don't have that light on, then the intention is not. And the universe will give us the things that we want. Right. We have to, and that's why we have to be real mindful about the things that we say and the intentions that we set, because expect to get what you want, expect to get what you ask for, right. and if you don't want it, then don't ask for it. All right, so so here's the thing: we won't do that then, because you you said it. We're not, you're not ready, and it won't. It's not going to relate to you then. It won't. It won't. It won't connect to you, and that's okay. So right. what? What I want to do is give you an opportunity if you want at this point. So what we've done here is the cards have told you what they wanted you to know. Right. Um, romance came up in it, but not to any extent. It came up, but like I said, you're hung up on it. You didn't, you're not welcoming this. You're like, yeah, no, no. Okay. But basically, it this talked about there was a lot of pinnacles and this talked about resources, which and build and passions, building and following your pursuits. Okay. So that's the message for you. Is there something specific that you want to know? No, that's actually the clarity. I wanted to see, based on the readings, it, it just makes sense to me. The blindfold and binding my hands, I know that's me. Because that's wow. the, um, the lack of confidence that that um, that really can can I do this? That I feel like I if, if somebody else called me to do something for them, I got you, let's do it. But now yeah. I have to have that same confidence for myself and that same ability for me. So that is what I'm learning. Again, I'm learning to trust me and to say, it's almost like the entrepreneurship. I can go get a job quick, fast, because I know yes. someone will give me a paycheck. But, yes. but can I root on myself to show up like I'm supposed to show up for me to make that income? Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. Right. So to and, me, it, it's that makes so much sense. Like to, I know I have that in me. I know I have what I need in me. And I know that I'm more powerful than mm -hmm. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. And I also know that I put her away long time ago to mm -hmm. appease someone else. But now it's just a matter of remembering again and getting that muscle again and developing her again. Absolutely refining rediscovering her she's there she's there and that's why i say with the swords when they come up 
it's it's letting you know about things that are up here, right. not physical things, but things that are up there. And your queen, this queen of cups, this is somebody maybe in the future, maybe moving forward, somebody that's going to offer you something, someone that's going to bring some sort of... um. some sort of stability, some sort of somebody that's going to be sympathetic to, going to it's going to offer you some support. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm sensing with this. This might not be somebody that you've met now, but someone that will come that's moving into your, your realm mm -hmm. that's going to support you and it's going to be a partner. And I don't mean a, a partner, like partner, partner, but I'm talking about someone that's going to be instrumental in assisting you in some way. Right. In some way, something that you need to do, they're going to assist you. I, I feel that that's what that was telling. I feel that that was the spirit. That was the message there with that. I wanted to uh, do one more thing before, and I'm going to do a totally different day. If you've got, have you got another few minutes? Yeah. I, I just don't know. What, is this going to cut off? <laughs> I was like, how does Zoom work? Oh, how long have we been on here? An hour. So if it cuts off, it'd be like, you know, you, how you, you know how you say your goodbyes quick. Hey, we get hung up on. No, that's OK. OK, so I'm going to do one thing really, really fast. And if it cuts off, then OK, because I think I think when it's free, how long do we have? I think it's an hour. It's been an hour already. Golly. OK, great. I want. Huh? That's a, isn't that great? The time just goes by nicely. It, it went by really fast. OK, I want to do a real quick. Recent past. I mean, present and okay. Big changes. I'm doing a recent, recent past, current, one possible outcome. Recent past is the tower. Something big change, mm -hmm. major change. Mm -hmm. Something you went through recently. Maybe something big. Something that moved you from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Moved you from one situation into another. Mm -hmm. Something changed really quickly. High Priestess, secrets untold, you may find out, this is current, current energy. You may be finding out something, uh, a secret, or maybe a mystery that's been solved. Maybe you may be getting some answers to something. This is, in the, this is now, some answers. One possible outcome, Knight of Pentacles. More resources, this is more Pentacles, resources in the near future, so talking about resources coming in okay yep that's all i wanted to do i just want to do that quick three card spread because that kind of gives you a, just a quick view really fast so major changes something that's happened in the recent past something that made you that shifted your whole paradigm your whole um outlook on something that's the tower card here High Priestess, you've got something, she talks about mysteries, and I feel like maybe a secret, maybe something that you wanted to know is going to be revealed shortly, maybe you've recently found out a truth about something, or maybe something that you thought long held, some long held belief that you felt is, was not true or didn't really live up to what you thought, and this is more Pentacles coming in. Slowly, this is the resources, the Knight of Pentacles moves slow, mm -hmm. he's steady, but he's slow as hell, okay? <laughs> so it may take a minute. He's right. the slowest knight in the tarot, but he's reliable and right. he'll get this. So this is, this is saying your resources are coming. They may not come overnight. Don't forget you know, what we had. We had seven of pentacles before, twice. You got to right. nurture them. You got to water them. So that's it. Right, we got to do the work. I, you got to do the work. Yeah. And I feel like now when I think it's easier to do the work when I have something I'm passionate about. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So Absolutely. Oh my God. This is great. I hope it's helped you. I hope that it's uh, kind of giving you some clarity maybe or a little direction or maybe helped kind of confirm some things. Yeah. And I love the, um, the card that you have propped up here, the trust in your process card. <laughs> this one? Yeah. This one, I'm that was that's that was for you, and this is it, this is confirmation because this is basically what this is talking about is <laughs> trusting your process. <laughs> right, isn't that awesome? so truly? 
This was your reading, Pam. So <laughs> I'm so glad that we had a chance to do this. Thank you so much. You are great. Your energy is awesome. Like you're you're calming. You're I, I couldn't help but think like when um my daughters explained the two readings that they had, each daughter had a reading, which okay. led to the other one's reading. Yes. Um, but when I saw that, I thought it was, I was so encouraging, encouraged by it. I was like, yes, yes. But when I saw who was doing their reading, I said, no, no, not for me. Um, oh, you know what I mean? mean? Not for me. The daughter, you didn't want the daughter to read for you. No, no, no. What you say? No, the individual who did their readings individually. Oh, some other people did their read. Oh, but you weren't feeling that person. You didn't want that person to oh. do it's kind of like it's so important to me that you you are you attract who you need. Um, to me, yes. they were young millennials. They were trying to. No, you couldn't tell me anything. Yes, you probably oh, wait. Tell me a lot. I don't know, but I wouldn't have resonated with it. <laughs> I totally get what you're saying. The yeah. pre, the people, and you, it's so true. You, it's important to connect with you. You. It's like. You don't want every and anybody just reading for you. Just like you don't want everybody really praying for you. And right. here's the thing: I won't read for just anybody because if if I feel that your, your energy is not, if it's negative, and if I'm not feeling it, I trust my instincts, and I won't read. And I'll just say, you know, I don't think this is a good idea. Maybe you got to get somebody else to read for you. So it is about attraction. It's right. about feeling comfortable with. A person who you, that's why I thank people when they let me read for them because that's a privilege because that means that you're allowing me, you're trusting me. You, you know, you're giving me an opportunity to read for you and to kind of share what, you know, a communication from from the spirit, from the universe right. to, to give to you, you know, by way of tarot. So that's a trust thing. And yes. like you said, not everybody can, not everybody reads the same and they don't. have the same vibe. And if you don't, it's kind of like if you don't have that, um, that connection immediately. Like, it's like, I won't let anybody do my hair. I'm not going to let anybody align yes. me. I'm not going to let anybody massage me. That's yes. just too intimate and too, yes. you're, 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 the energy is too locked. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So you, to me, you just have to have that connection. And um, I it agree. was great. I'm so glad. Really, I'm so really, glad. Really, really love this. Oh my God. I hope this recording came out. I hope, please let me know. Let me know if it came <laughs> out. I hope it if it did, it would be perfect because I will send it to you. You can put it on Thank your you. channel. I um, would love that. That yeah, would be good. It would be nice that if you could put it on my channel. That would yeah. be great. And then have the link because to me, this is great. And this will not be the end. I mean, No, no, definitely. I, I hope to. Yeah, I would. I would love to read for you again whenever you, you know, you, you know, you can connect with me. You know how to get in touch with me. Yeah. I'd love to read for you again. So that's no problem. But um, I'm so happy that we had a chance to do this. Let me know. Like I said, fingers crossed that it recorded. Let me know. I'm going to let you go before it cuts us off because we've okay. been over an hour now, but right. I'll talk with you later. Okay. Take care. Namaste. <laughs> Take care to you and blessings and health to you. Okay. Stay Thank well. You. you too. I'll talk with you later. Okay. okay. Bye, Pam. Bye-bye.